Hello friends, in this video we will understand what is the difference between DEM event and DTC. Also we will see the generic flow of the fault handling in RTSR compliant ECUs. If you are watching this video then I assume that you have heard about DTC and DEM event somewhere and have a confusion between their difference. And also you have basic understanding of AutoSAR as DEM is an AutoSAR component handling the fault diagnostics in the ECU. So let us first see the definitions of DEM event and DTC given by AutoSAR DEM specification document and then I will try to simplify it. A diagnostic event defines the atomic unit that can be handled by the DEM module. The status of a diagnostic event represents the result of a monitor. The DEM receives the result of a monitor from software component via the RTE or other BSW modules. The DEM module uses event ID to manage the status of the diagnostic event of a system and performs the required action for individual test results. This is the definition and information about diagnostic event in uh, DEM document. Now let us see the definition of DTC. A diagnostic trouble code or DTC defines a unique identifier which is shown to the diagnostic tester mapped to a diagnostic event of the DEM module. The DEM provides the status of diagnostic trouble codes to the DCM module. So in AutoSAR, the job of DEM is to handle the faults monitored by various modules and perform the diagnostics processing. Each component, be it hardware or software, must perform according to the specifications the customer requirements. This behavior of each component can be monitored by special functions known as monitoring functions. These monitoring functions will monitor a particular feature and tell whether the feature is behaving as expected or is a fault present there. For each monitoring function, there is a corresponding DEM event configured in the RTSR component DEM. Software components in the ECU will have their own monitoring functions and report the status of the functionality to DEM. The status of the monitoring functions can be one of the below four status. They are pre-passed, passed, pre-failed, and failed. As the monitoring functions report to the corresponding DEM event, DEM would perform the debouncing if configured and report the status to the DTC leading to the DEM event. These DTCs and their statuses can be retrieved and seen by DCM module from Tesha 2. Now, it is possible that a single DEM event can be mapped to a DTC or multiple DEM events can be mapped to a single DTC. As you know, DEM event must represent an atomic event. Also, DTC is to let the technician know which feature has failed. It is not atomic. Let me take an example to make you understand what I mean. Let us say there is a DTC for unreliable power supply. Let's call it DTC underscore battery underscore failure. So if this DTC is set, then technician understands that the battery voltage is not in the valid range and some problem is there with the battery. And then he can check the battery and I diagnose the issue and then fix the issue. For this, DTC, we can have two possible DEM events as DEM events are atomic. Let's say DEM event 1, which is 
battery voltage is more than the upper threshold and the second event DEM event 2 which is battery voltage is lesser than the lower threshold. Correspondingly there are two monitoring functions. Monitor 1 checks if battery voltage is greater than the upper threshold and reports the status to DEM event 1 by DEM underscore set event status API. Similarly, monitor 2 function checks if battery voltage is lesser than lower threshold and reports the status to DEM event 2. These monitoring functions are implemented in battery voltage measuring software component. The DEM events are configured in DEM module. And when these events are reported as fault exists or not, then a debouncing is performed by DEM if configured for either confirming the fault or healing and update the DTC accordingly. So, if DEM event 1 only has occurred, then also DTC will be set. In the example we are discussing, the DEM events are mutually exclusive, that is, DEM event 1 and DEM event 2 both cannot occur simultaneously. But it may not be the case in all the use cases. So if one or multiple DEM events are occurring in the system, then the corresponding DTC linked to the DEM event will be set. And only when all the DEM events are not occurring and the debossing is over, then the DTC is healed. The strategy between DEM events and DTCs and the debossing, there are various types and combinations etc. which you can understand by going through the DEM specification document from autosar.org. But I will not explain the complex methods in this video as it is out of scope of this video. So, I guess with this explanation you understood the difference between DEM event and DTC and got a general idea of the flow of the fault handling, how it happens in Autosar compliant ECU software. Thank you for watching this video.